few people know that I was once a member of the Avengers. Here you can see one of my early armor prototypes. I call it Tin Man. I further simplified the armor to include a red jumpsuit and head armor with convenient beak pouch. I improved the design even further with a latex face mask. But ultimately, I decided on a hybrid solution. Believe it or not, my friends. Hey there Funko fans, today it's the first day of SDCC 2018, that's right, the San Diego Comic Con. And everybody is in a frenzy looking for the new exclusive Funko Pops. So they went online late last night, so there are some you can only get at the con, but luckily they also released some online and in stores. So today we're going to be looking at my pop haul from the local stores. As you can see, we went to GameStop and Barnes and Noble. Wasn't up too early for those because of the late night, but let's set these aside. We'll go through those shortly. And a quick reminder before we get stuck into this stuff that we have a Dilophosaurus giveaway. So this one ends this weekend for residents of US and Canada 18 years of age or older or if you have your parents permission so stay tuned for that. Enter the giveaway if you haven't already that's uh, I'll leave a link in the description here to that other video and when we get to 250 subscribers I'll be giving away a Flop Sully Amazon exclusive we are so close to that milestone. I think it's literally at the time of this filming one subscriber away from that. So definitely subscribe if you'd like to see more pops and more giveaways. So let's get started. So we'll start with Barnes and Noble. First up we have the Ant-Man. This is the old style costume, very cool. And I actually didn't get there until like quarter to 10. They said they had a line at nine, at nine o'clock, so luckily they still had enough of these left. Here's the whole line. So let's take a closer look at this guy. And here he is, Ant-Man. This is another one of those bobble heads, so very nice. I like the little belt here. He's got his fists ready to go. Punching bad guys. Nice helmet. A couple of little blemishes on the paintwork, but it can't be helped. Very nice pop. Um, I've also got some of the other ones, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, from the new series. I'll be doing a video on those soon, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so Ant-Man, who's next? We have another Marvel character. This is Kraglin from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And I have not actually seen the movie yet, but this guy just looks plain cool, and I really enjoyed the first movie, so I could not pass this up. So here he is. There's the whole gang. Actually, there's a lot here that I'd like to get. Those are pretty cool. So Kraglin, let's crack him open. And yep, here's another bubble head. See if I can get it to focus. Look at that magnificent mohawk. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. He's got his uh, beard moustache, bit of scarring there. And that, yeah, that is definitely intentional, not some paint blemishes. Cool costume. Looks like he's got a spear there. And I think this is similar to, there was another one with um, Yondu, I think he had the, didn't he have the blue mohawk? So yeah, that's another one to chase up. Okay, so Kraglin. And next up, we're heading into Looney Tunes. 
So Pepe Le Pew, everybody's favourite. I really think this was a missed opportunity. They could have had a centred version. Um, maybe do it the same scent as Stinkor. I've heard that's pretty vile, but uh, yeah, that that would have been cool if they did that. But not sure why they didn't. Maybe licensing. So here's the usual suspects. All right, let's check this guy out. Now, one thing I did not realize was how huge this tail is. It's taller than him, and you couldn't really see it that well in the box, but that is magnificent. He's got a rose in his mouth, chasing that poor cat. And I wonder if that one will be released at some point, or any of the other characters. Not sure how much Looney Tunes stuff they put out other than uh, Bugs Bunny and so forth. So he is a cool pop. Not sure if the... Yeah, we do have a little bit of head movement. I wasn't sure about that. Very nicely done, Funko. Now on to GameStop. So GameStop picked up the Iron Man. They actually had a one per person allocation. They only got one Dustin, so I missed out on the Dustin from the Snowball Dance. And the nearest other GameStop is like another 10 miles away, but glad I could snag this guy. Iron Man Mark 1. What was that 1i? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Mark 1, and then I've yeah, got the brackets there. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. And again, we have another bubble head. This is a really chunky feeling pop. You can feel the weight of the head. So I'm curious if that will stand without tipping over. We've got a lot of intricate details in the Iron Man armor. So Tony Stark's first attempt at Iron Man. What's this on the back here? I don't know if I can get... There we go. All sorts of bits and pieces on the back. And some strategically placed dents. I think that's a nice detail. Just all over him. Anyone would think it was like packaged from Amazon or something, but... <laughs> there he is. Iron Man. Okay, so what else did I get? And for you Rick and Morty fans, it's Western Rick. So I was wondering what all the fuss was about with this show. We recently started watching it. It is quite possibly one of the most bizarre shows I've ever seen. Um, but I'm somehow compelled to keep watching. So we're still in season one, but looking forward to it. Haven't got to this Western thing. I'm assuming that's a particular episode. No idea what season. So who else we got here? Prison Break, Rick, Sentina, Morty, Warrior Summer, Hemorrhage, Rick, Facehugger. So that is all very bizarre. So let's open this one up. And here we have Western Rick. So he... His head, you know, not a lot of head movement here. He's got his cowboy outfit on. Cool hat. And this one actually comes with a stand. And it's not surprising because the head is so heavy. I bet if I made him try to stand up, he would just tip right over. So let's give that a try. I'll we'll put him there. Nah. <laughs> okay, so we'll put the stand here. Okay, we'll set him over here. There we go, very nice. Let's make a little room because we've got a couple more to go. And you've probably guessed who's next. It's Weston Morty. So he is also in his cowboy outfit. Cool cow skin pants there. Very nice, so let's crack him open. Oh, 
And here we have Morty. He does not come with a stand, so I'm not sure how well he will stand up without tipping over. I like his nice uh, handkerchief there. Very cool. Simple pops, but again the animation and the uh, design of the characters is fairly simple. So I'm wondering what the deal is with this episode. I can't wait to see that. So let's set him over by Rick. And miracle, he does actually seem to stand. Okay, one more. This is not an exclusive, but GameStop had a buy three, get one free. So I got a... Thor was my free pop. Thor from Ragnarok. So this was the last one they had there. Considering getting one of the Incredibles, but I'm like, ah, oh, can get those later. So he is very nice, and I wouldn't mind. I have one of these Hulks, but I think there's a couple of different variants I'd like to check out. So let's take a look at Thor. Okay, so his head is off to the side. Oh, I see, it's not... Yeah, the spring wasn't fitting on there very well. So there is another bubble head, continuing the trend for Marvel Pops to be bubble heads. He's got a huge weapon there. I have not seen this movie either. I'm woefully behind, but hopefully soon. I've heard it's really good. Ah, there we go, there's his cape tucked behind his back. So that is Thor. How many varieties of Thor are there? Leave a note in the comments if you've seen a lot of these lately. Okay, so things are pretty crowded here now. Let's shift these boxes aside, look at the whole crew. And I hope everybody did well with their SDCC 2018 pop hunting. I'm hoping some of these that were rarer or did not go up easily because of the server problems will be restocked. So fingers crossed for that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more pop unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And don't forget the giveaway when we hit 250 subscribers. We're almost there. Actually, we may pass that by the time this video goes up, but we shall see. And stay tuned for more SDCC 2018 exclusives. We'll have those videos up as the packages come in the mail. Thanks for watching and see you around.